In the next two minutes, I want to show you why it's important to get the breath at the right time and how to do it and why that can make a big difference to the rest of your stroke. Because if your timing is out with your breathing, it's like the bottleneck to the rest of your stroke. So let's take a look here at when we should begin to turn our head. Now you'll notice here that as his hand comes underneath the shoulder here, so if we're looking at his left arm, the hand comes under the shoulder and he begins to turn his head to the side at that point. So that's when we should generally start to turn the head. The way I would think of that if we, if we needed a cue was you wanna pull yourself into the breath. And we did a video on this a couple of weeks ago, which I'll link to just above. Now, the more important thing though, is that we wanna make sure we bring the head back down at the right time. And the right time is when you are going through your catch. So the head should come back down at the same time as your catch on your opposite arm. So you'll notice that his head begins to turn while this arm is going through the catch, which is that arm movement out in front. So by the time he's finished his catch, which is around about here, the eyes are already back to looking straight down there. Now, why is that? Why is that important? Well, let's have a look from the side view and I'll show you why that's important. Now, as you, uh, as you bring your head back down, you get a little bit of momentum from that head turning down and that hand entering the water out in front. And you also get that bit of momentum from the shoulders coming back around and same for the same for the hips. So you get to transfer that momentum and energy from that movement into this arm in the water. And if, if you do that at the right time, then you've got this arm anchored in the water, if you've got a, especially if you've got a good catch, and then you can sort of hold that piece of water and you're just driving your body past that arm that's in the water. So with the right timing, then everything is really well connected. And that's why you'll see someone who's swimming like what looks like a really comfortable 115 per 100 pace. It looks like they're hardly trying because everything is working well together and they've got the right timing. So if you feel like, oh, I don't get a very good catch or I rotate too far or my legs kick too wide, maybe just check in with your breath timing because that can be a bottleneck to the rest, to the other parts of your stroke and achieving those, uh, achieve, yeah, being in the right position with them. And that's why in our five core principles in our video membership, the first thing we start with is breathing. It's breathe deep and relax. So if you can breathe correctly and you can get it at the right time, then that's the first thing we wanna set in place because that's going to work then into a lot of the other things like body position, catch, um, stroke timing, and a few other things. So make sure you get that breath timing. So if you're looking for a bit of help with these things, then we've got our Effortless Swimming video membership where a lot of people are going through the eight-week faster freestyle course, which covers all of this stuff in detail. And it's, you've got a plan to follow. So you know exactly what to do within your workouts. You know exactly what uh, drills you should be doing to work on these things. And it gives you a structure that will actually help you improve so you can check that out in our video membership in the eight-week Faster Freestyle program. So looking forward to seeing you in there. And I'm in there answering questions all the time, uh, which you can do as a, as a member. So I look forward to seeing you in there.